Okay, so <clears throat> um, a couple of places that you can find your pretest. You could. I'm going to go through it here, and you can um, take screenshots, or you can take pictures with your phone, or um, whatever you want to do. But you can also find it on the Moodle page, uh, and you can print it there. And then you're going to work on this pretest. So here's the deal with the pretest. There's like 31 or maybe 32 questions. I think 31. And of these, 20 of them will find their way onto the test. And the way I normally do it is I normally change the number of values. Like, for example, it says for numbers 1 through 4, evaluate each if A is 5, B is negative 5, C is 7, blah, blah, blah. I might change C to 3, A to 8, B to negative 7. I don't know, whatever I'm going to put in there. But I'll change those values. And then underneath that, it says 4 less than a number. I might write 4 more than a number or 8 less than a number or 7 less than a number. Product of x and y, I might change to the quotient of x and y, or the quotient of a and or the product of a and b. So those are the kind of changes I make. Everything else pretty much stays in line. It's like one little tweak to each of these questions, and then it's on your test to take. So <clears throat> I'm going to just real quick scroll through what these questions are, and then I'm going to put up the answers. Obviously, you don't want to check the answers until after you're done with the work. So here you go. Remember, take screenshots if you want, pictures with your phone, whatever you want to do, so that you have copies of the questions. Or you can just print the page off of the Moodle page, and you'll have the pretest available to you there. And the last page of questions. Okay. So, now that for that, I need to get to uh, Acrobat Reader. Here we go. I'm sorry, whenever I scan, I get these lines. There's nothing I can do about it, so I apologize. But what I'm going to do is just scroll through this very slowly so that you can get the answers down. See if you're right or wrong. It, it, you know, look, it's, uh, what time is it? It's 11.56 on a Thursday night. I can tell you my left eye feels like shutting, so maybe I made a sloppy mistake. I typically do, so you might catch me in a mistake here, but... Uh, as far as I can tell off the top of my head, everything's right. Might be a mistake or two. And you can go through and you can check your results. If you can get 100 on this, you can get 100 on a test. And if not, then what I suggest you do is you find the type of question you got wrong and you go into the um, videos and you look up questions like that and the explanations that we have. That's a great way to prepare. So here are the answers to questions one through nine. You may want to screenshot it or take a picture with your phone to compare. I'll leave that up there for one more second as you look through, okay? Um, if you're watching this video, you can just do stop and start, so I don't know why I'm delaying it. We should go much quicker. All right, here's numbers 10 through 15. Again, you stop and start to your advantage here. This is the video. Okay, number 16 through 18. Numbers 19 through 25. Twenty six through twenty eight. Um, I mentioned this earlier in the slideshow, but I'll mention it again here. Danger, danger, danger! That negative two n right there. That negative sign does not have anything to do with the four. It has to do with the two n. So when I subtract four, I subtract it because in front of the four is a positive. We don't write anything. It's a positive. Negative has nothing to do with the four. Do not write plus four there. You will be completely wrong. Subtract the four from both sides. Then I divide by a negative 2. Don't lose track of the fact that this 2n is negative. That's one of the most common mistakes that kids make all the time. Divide by negative 2, and I have to switch the direction of the inequality. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, you switch the direction of the inequality. I get n is less than or equal to, not greater than or equal to, less than or equal to negative 3. And I, I just want to go back and show you the other time where we did the danger, danger, danger. It's here on number 11. Um, minus the 1. Again, that 1's positive, so we have to do the opposite. Then divide by negative 4. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. 
don't lose the negative sign in front of the 4. It's a negative 4n. Okay? So divide by negative 4 and I get n is negative 2. Danger, 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 as the great Steve Irwin would say. Okay, so now we'll get into some word problems. There's the answer to number 29. Again, you can do stop and start, so I'm not worried about how long I hang on the screen. The answer is to numbers 30. Well, number 30 anyway. <coughs> and then 31. And then number 32 done two ways. With number 32 done two ways, um, I want you to realize that you can find out what the 25% discount is, $205, and then subtract it from the original price. Or you can say, look, if I'm taking 25% off, then 75% is remaining. And if you do that, the correct answer shows up. Okay. Um, back to these word problems, I just want to explain a couple of little things with the word problems and where we're coming from here. First off, um, the first word problem has to do with the three angles of a triangle. Notice I drew a picture. That's always helpful. I fill them in. And what do the three angles of a triangle always add up to? It's 180. Next, perimeter question. Drew a picture. Um, the sides are W, 2W minus 7. But remember, there's two other sides. W over here, 2W minus 7 on the bottom. So these little hoops represent all four sides. And then I do a same side, same operation situation. Always work it out that once I get my answer, I can check myself. Um, three consecutive integers such that the sum of twice the first. So here are my three integers, N, N plus 2, N plus 4. But twice the first is 2N. N the second, N the third. So here's the second guy, N plus 2. Here's the third guy, n plus 4. So if I add up all of those, I get 46. I had originally had a mistake of 47, but I fixed it on the, on the Moodle page, and I fixed it here. Okay, so I come up with 10, 12, 14. And we already went over Samantha's fly rod problem. So listen, there's all your pretest questions, and I hope you got everything you need out of it. All right, good luck preparing for this test. Don't be afraid to talk to each other. Get some friends going, work together. It's a great way to learn. Take care. Bye.